Cantor here with a recap of Georgia Tech's very gratifying 21-17 victory over UNC Tar Heels. As I've been saying for the past, well, 10 weeks, the ACC is down, UNC's overrated. Their defense is non-existent. It's been like that since week one. It continues to be that way. They should have lost three or four games this season. That we just held them to this one and put them away. We exposed them, and they needed to be exposed because I was getting tired of hearing all this crap being sent to me by the UNC ADs about all their national honors for their Heisman Trophy candidate and their All-Americans and all this other stuff. No, you're just not that good, okay? Can't beat us, you're not any good. There you go, I just said it. All right, bottom line, let's stick with the good and the bad, what I like, what I didn't like. Uh, without Pyron, without Sims, we started Gibson. But we teamed him up with Tyson, and it actually worked. Tyson led a nice ground attack, scored a touchdown, ran hard, played well, liked it, which allowed Gibson to play well. And that team up just worked. It worked. I'll take it. The offensive line was okay. Another game that they played okay. And that's an improvement. And that's fantastic. You know, I really liked our defense in this game. They had a couple of mistakes, yes, but we'll stick on the good stuff. I do my own stats. I gave us eight sacks for the game. I know that's not an official, but we tackled their quarterback behind the line of scrimmage eight times. They said a couple of them were runs. I don't think so. I think he was passing on a run pass option and couldn't get the ball out. May is a decent quarterback, but our defensive line was all over him. Keon White just had the game of his life. I mean, he was living in the backfield of UNC, and he was dominant, just tearing people up. Brooks, Miles Brooks playing DB again. You know, had another interception, had big tackles, big pass breakups. He was fantastic. So, liked all that. On the offense, that's what we were talking about last week. What did we need to do this week? We needed to put Tyson in there. We needed to ground the ball out. We needed to shorten this game. We needed to make this game a shorter game. Keep the ball out of the hands of May. And we did. Short passes to the um, to the running backs. Short passes to the wide receiver. Malik Rutherford comes in and did his best impersonation of McCollum, who was out injured. It was a nice little game plan there. I questioned a couple of play calls when we were running the ball on third and long, but besides that... It was a nice game plan. It was complimentary football, offense and defense, and it worked. So the kids played hard for Coach Key, and I said last week, we have to see what type of determination, what type of guts, what type of pride our team has, what type of pride our kids have in their game, in themselves, and they proved it. They do. They played well. The bad. Of course, there's stuff that I didn't like. We gave up. Our defense gave up a couple of big plays to UNC. Um, first play of the game for UNC was an 80-yard touchdown run. Guys just seemed to be out of their lanes and contained. We didn't have those fantastic games that we usually are used to with A.C. Lee and Charlie Thomas. They didn't. But then again, the rest of the guys on the defensive line really stepped up, and so did Brooks. So, you know, granted, our linebackers didn't dominate as usual, but uh, the, the the secondary and the D-line D did. And outside of a couple of big plays, they were solid. Worst thing I can say about today was that our punt team, uh, it was still horrible. I mean, we had a 25-yard punt one time. Uh, we skipped the ball back to the punter. If there was any rush whatsoever on one of them, it would have been blocked. It's... It's still a work in progress that's not any good. At the beginning of the game, we couldn't contain May. But after that, in the second half, they made adjustments and they started spying on him. And they really kept him from running and getting out of containment. So it was, it was good coaching, too. So, you know, we put it together for this game. And that's good. It's really good to see we've got the five wins. Um, we all know that there, there's a milestone for us for the past four years. And that's excellent. 
Next up is UGA. All right, I can't say anything good about UGA. I will just say that I will not bet against UGA, and we just want to keep it close. That's all we expect. Just keep it close. Let's not get embarrassed. Let's let's throw a Kentucky at UGA, all right? I'll take that. Guys played well. Let's see them play well and play hard next week, and we'll see you then.